When we last played, we did some expansive work in Terrytown and Zora's Domain and also in Grudo Town. I have a full battery. I have eight cells, full complete cells. Look, look how fucking filled up and engorged in blue balls it is. I, I did get new fabric, so maybe I should go and give that to the folks in Hateno. Give them a little visit. There is also still the top part of this red robe outfit that I'm currently wearing, which I should probably find where the other piece is at. Ah, uh, yes. Rain in towns, which means that... Uh, Frame rates will come to a standstill. Why don't I trade in my lights of blessing? Because I don't want more than a full stamina meter and 20 hearts. Whenever there's hearts on the second row, I go and I sell them back. It also, you know, makes it a little bit less of like just tanking every hit. Like I actually have to not just be trash at the game. It forces me to be a little bit better. It's a, it's a way of myself enforcing a little bit of a limitation so that the game remains somewhat difficult. I don't want it to be a, a walk in the park necessarily, but I was also getting tired of getting one hit by bosses. So now they just eat up 15 of the 20 hearts that I have on this row. Hey, I got a favor to ask. It's not enough for me to just rework with the fabric you bring me. I want to dye my hand at making my own patterns, just like Cece, of course. Hers are all original designs. And making fabrics from scratch seems like a lot of hard work. But that's where you come in. Could you cast around for some reference material I could use as inspiration? Do I have to take pictures? God. First, I'm thinking I want to see visuals of a monster they call Choo Choo. The kind of choo-choo is everywhere, even outside the village, but I'm too paint-hearted. As in, like, faint-hearted to get near them. Hi, Jag. I think if I could see a regular choo-choo, not a fire or ice choo-choo, would help a lot. They really want me to play Pokemon Snap in Hyrule Kingdom. <laughs> and I'm not sure if that's the most exciting thing to do... ever. Because I'm not on rails, I actually have to move and go there. Also, hi, Grundig. Where's my Zonite? Uh, not Zonite, Zora fabric. You don't like taking pictures for that Hyrule Companion because the pictures you can buy from Robbie look so much better than anything else you take? And then there's also the monster compendium. And then I'm just like, there's just too many opportunities to take pictures. <laughs> and all I should really do is take pictures of the dragons. Is there anything else I'm supposed to do out here in Hateno? The garden? Yeah, people were saying the same thing about why don't I have my best friends out? Because uh, they make the game a little too easy. But when it comes to, say, getting quickly across the map, I'll, I'll bust out the bestie. Whose bestie, you ask? It's Tulin. Uh, I'm lost. I need to go to the farm which is not the direction I'm going right now. Oops. Huck, huck. 
Oh, I thought this was a slope. Oh, it's late. Is she not gonna be out here because it's nighttime? Well, can I just collect it anyways? Oh wait, no, she's literally out here at 10 p.m. Well, if it isn't Professor Link. Thanks for being so patient. What do you think? They're tasty looking, aren't they? It's a billboard hardy radish. Big hardy radish. It also like cleared out my settings in my Twitch dashboard. So like this is really annoying how a Google Chrome update wiped out all my settings. Complete. Should I take it now or just take one? Well, I'm assuming that more will grow from it, but I could be wrong. Uh, we'll find out. I think treasure of awakening. I could do that. I could build a house. You know, let me do this for the Akala girl, because like, I straight up have went up there, said hi, and then like, ignored her ass. Because I thought I didn't have a Lino horn, but I, I did have a Lino horn. Okay, why is it so hot in this room? It's, it's 70 outside. This shirt is like oversized. Is it because it's oversized and I'm not wearing like a tank top? Because when I wear tank tops in here, I feel fine. Like, I'm starting to sweat. And that usually doesn't happen unless it's like 80 plus in here. It's, it's not 80 plus. Yeah, I did the whole crisis at Hyrule Castle thing without my best friends. And it made it a little better because they ended up... Oh, I never helped him, did I? Where is she? Is she inside? Oh, she's over here. Lionel Horn. Does this count? Oh, I already have a Lionel Reaper. Can I just show this to her? Hey, that weapon you're holding, let me see it. Her mouth agape. That's no doubt about it. That's a weapon made with a Lionel horn. Nice and sharp, too. You could slice through anything with this baby. Is she trying to sell me a, a knife through an infomercial? That settles it. This is the strongest weapon in the world. I'm honored that I got to see it. That I got to see such a stunning weapon up close here. It's the least I... It's the least I owe you. Then again, the world's a big place, who knows? Maybe there's a stronger weapon out there. Someday I'll return the favor and show you a weapon of my own making. Sounds weird. Where's your friend again? Hakuma didn't let me target. Should I just roll him down the hill? I don't feel like taking a a whole ass horse with me. Sorry, this is not the grab.
Goodbye. <laughs> he's driving his own thing because he's literally steering it with the this thing. And he's on a slope and then he hit that. Oops. Let's see if I can go bowling. <laughs> I, I'm more amused at the physics that's uh, taking place here. Oh, there's Bokoblins down there. What also amuses me is that the game is selective in showing what can be grabbed. on like a distance level. So there are certain things like... Uh-oh. Please stop. Like small things... won't... show up in the grab thing until you get closer to it, but I guess these carts show up from quite a distance. Oh wait, are all my friends out? Oh, only two of my friends. Okay. What else? Could do a treasure. I can take out the pirates. Eh, let's take out the pirates. I think I should also do the 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 northeast maze because I've done the other two. God, I always get so disoriented coming out of that specific shrine. Yeah, no, the pirates are fully in the water. I don't remember there being pirates in Breath of the Wild, so they they really went full Pirates of the Caribbean here. Actually, let me put something here without a attachment on it, so the Bokoblin goes over there, and then I'll blow his ass up. Did you not see that Bokoblin? Go over there. Dummy. Dummy! Whatever, go in the water. Or just die! Oops. Oops. Oh, they see me now. Somebody's barbecuing? Oh, fuck! Dude, I thought I got it. Apparently I didn't. Uh... Bump, 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 bump. Eh, eyeball. Burn it. Yep, 
Yeah, I think it's a perfect day to barbecue. Oh, she went for a swim, didn't she? She's a white book goblin too! Is there any place that does... That fixes weapons? Because I would, I would like... ...to have my bow fixed. Do it. Bomb it! Okay. Let go. Whatever he's grabbed onto, he needs to chill. Have I made a mistake? How am I supposed to get up? There's a ladder all around. Uh, it just rolled. I see the ladder. Yeah, no, if I'm barbecuing, I, I'm not- I'm doing that to entertain. I'm not doing that alone. Oh. 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 I really thought I would d had something going there. That was not the case. Yeah, I really wish I could... Wait, do I have a spear? I do. Oh! Uh, let's go for White Bull Coblin. Eh. Kind of sad. I missed. Fight. Lose your weapon and throw him at me. Oh, okay. That works too. Just push him in the water. Yes! He drowned. Can I push him now into the water from here? I guess not. Oh, I could have just pushed him the whole time. Well, he's about to die anyways. I forgot he's like Babby. Bonk. So, could I theoretically... Put this on a rocket and like send the rocket to the other boat. 
I can get it there. Oh! You know what? Maybe I'll I'll do a different approach to this. Nope. <laughs> I tried it. God, it feels crazy to have this much um, shoot angle. It's not aiming very well. Uh, maybe I need to go higher. Or not. You know what? Can you turn off? Oh, there's my arrow. He's just chilling. The marbled goma hammer was weird on that thing, just saying. I don't know how to aim it, like, not into the ground. Oops. 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 Oh, never mind. That thing is just gonna fall back into the ground. It's fun. I had fun. PS dot dot. Why is it still shooting? I thought I got too far away from it. I don't like this bows. There's somebody else down here. Where are they? Oh my god, they're right on my dick.
Nice crit. Uh, I, I pressed the wrong button to jump out of the way. Sad. I pressed Y instead of B. I haven't played this game since Monday. That's, that's like three days. I tried to do one, exactly one. Flurry rush, and I failed. Uh, miserably. Considerably. This is a... Uh, big spiky, huh? I don't want bouncy stick or that. Look at how the wind makes the the fire pyre go that direction. It's kind of neat. Blue cock hammer. Sorry, I can't. I can't. I don't know how to read. That did not say cock, it said Hinox. That looks nice. Well, might as well get the shrine that's nearby. I could use the, the heart refill. Oh, I thought this was... Deep water, not like shallow tide pools. Oh, it's getting deeper. I mean, there is a semblance of, like, water level going up and down. I've already had my meals for the day. This morning I woke up at 4.45 for a 5 a.m. call that I said, like, three words on. So that was nice. Sarcasm. And then I got hungry after that. Oh, Daddy. Daddy's here. Oh, Daddy got me. Daddy, let me use uh, one of your weapons against you. Daddy, I'm dead. -na -na. Where did the game save me, huh? On the ship? That don't look like seashore to me. Uh, this, this is alright. Yeah, not too bad. Hey, will he bother me if I'm wearing the Yiga outfit? The answer is... Oh my god, there's a cave down here. Then no, please. Hello, crab. Yeah, Yiga didn't pop out! Because of my cool Yiga outfit. If only I got to be as big and daddy as those Blade Masters. Is there a Crab Rangoon recipe in this game? We should definitely try, but I think it's going to be more like a crab pie. I wish there were more types of pizzas that I could make instead it's just a Hylian tomato pizza.
Flotational Brilliance. I want to look like a homosexual. Is a Hyrule shield in this game? Fuck am I supposed to do here? Make make myself a ramp? Or a platform? Give me the chime. Oh, it's that that platform down there is on a rail, so I can't take it with me. I, I didn't get over there. Why did it beep for me? I guess I gotta put her back down. Huh? You don't like it there? I have to shove your whole thing down? Okay, fine. I'll put you underneath the damn thing. Excuse me? Whoever put that, that trigger point there did not consider two balls, one shaft. You think you just heard a gunshot outside? Uh, can't be good. Uh, I'm gonna move the the cock pieces to a different spot. Should I enjoin the balls first? Enjoin. You have to please the balls first. No. No. You know what? That's it. That's all we get. I mean, which... I want the balls to be in the back, so this will just like blow me there, right? <laughs> I made a dick boat. Look at it flop. I made a total flop of a boat. Oops. I guess stone don't float, huh? It moves! Is it booby boat or dick boat? It's dick boat. In my book. Oh, damn it. Um, the bow don't go up. Not at least with that one. Depends on the angle. Yeah. Uh, someone like misinstalled this booby. Kick it.
Goodbye, Rock Sledge. What is this? Oh, you have a one cheer badge and it's a... It's an Oreo cookie cheer badge. God, what, what was I on when I made that? Here, go away. We're just gonna ride along the side until we get to the other side of this water. <laughs> you can't even because we're underwater we can't see the 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 wave action the the wind because it's doing things like i was never made For this. <laughs> I'm giggling more that it set it down and then left that angle as it showed the cutscene. That's what's giving me joy. All hail Dick Boat with nipples. I haven't seen the cutscene in a while. The last time I played, I think I ignored the cutscene the whole time. Instead of hearing gunshots in my neighborhood, I hear more fireworks just because I live on the hillside and people want to see fireworks from the hillside, so they set off fireworks in the hillside, but there's a lot of dry brush in my area, so I'm like, please do not set my neighborhood on fire. Or please don't blow your hand off. The Nintendo Direct was on Wednesday morning, and there are two things that I'm fully obsessed with. One, the Super Mario RPG remake that has music by uh, Yoko Shimomura. The original music was done by her, and she's also doing the arrangements for full orchestra with, you know, the synth wherever it's necessary for the remake. And that gets me extremely excited. You want to see what they do at Valentina and Ishii? They, they showed a clip. There's a, there's a still online somewhere. She still has her big old titties. Uh, what's nice is that they also showed some pieces of Booster Castle, Booster Tower. And in one part, you can actually see the the references that Squaresoft made back in the day. I need more arrows. Goodness. And then the other game is Super Mario Acid Trip. I mean, Super Mario Wonder. Uh, I kind of wanted to do a Photoshop of it where do I have anything windy? Yeah, I do. Go drown. Where I wanted to change the, the, the words of wonder to say trans rights because it's in the same color. Do you think they'll keep Culex? Yes. 100% they're going to keep Culex. Because I believe Square is doing the remaster. Square Enix. If you, if you call me out for saying it Enix and not Enix, you, you can suck my dick. Suck my big old choke. Look, I'm wearing my suit. You cannot do this to me. Fairy. 
I'm standing up. I'm not jumping. I'm not doing the hop, hop. Dude, tracking fairies in 3D space. Also, enjoy the, the, the fairy follower emote. Because, uh, hello to all my fairies in chat. That includes me. I'm about to jump, and then this fairy's just gonna run away, because it won't come down. Oops, put it away. I think that's it. I need to get the bubble boy in this cave. Probably up somewhere. What I'm hoping is that they'll make the, the game difficulty a little bit higher, or like at least give a setting for people who played the game before to have it be a little bit more difficult. But then again, I don't know what changes, what other changes they made to it, because it, it does sound like there is a whole new mechanic of chaining attacks, or at least chaining the, the skill presses, the time skill presses. Oops. Hi, Katie. Happy Friday. Go drown. Thank you. The one thing about the leveling system that I had difficulty with was that they had it done where you had to select what upgrade you wanted. And that necessarily wasn't my favorite thing. Because you had to choose between HP, flower points, defense, armor, or something like that. Or luck. And then you can double it, so the, the whole chant system made it a little, like, not the... What, what's down here? Did you see what I grabbed and how it went nowhere? Did something clip into the ground? Because there should be three of those sticks down there. I don't know. I think what Nintendo learned, at least from the movie, is that in order to bring something new to the 2D Mario series, Nintendo needed to go, like, really far into the whole... ...animation side of things. So they did! The animations that they have for Super Mario Wonder are super cute, and I hope they're many moments in which you get to go and examine a lot of those charming little things they did with Mario and the other characters a lot closely, a lot more closely, because uh, the two, 2D Mario series does a lot from a distance. Especially because ever since they introduced multiplayer to that series, a lot of the individual character in the game, does it's, it's not there anymore. And it's been very samey for 
the last decade of that new Super Mario Brothers series since the Wii and the DS days. I think there's some additional charm they, they did with the, the little flower that talks, as, as weird as it is, and totally revamping the point system, aka there are no more points, it just gives you like kudos, like great, wonderful, marvelous type thing. Although the only gripe that I have about those words appearing on the screen is that they overlap very easily because it's so damn long. Do you think I'll just walk around his ass because I'm wearing this outfit? Can I sneak strike this asshole? Or can I just crawl on his coochie? Nope. I thought you used to be able to, to crawl up the Hynux and climb it. Do I have to be on the hand to do that? Take me up. Pick me up. Look at those cute little snot bubbles. Good, thank you. Can't carry any more weapons. Huh. Should I wake him up? With like a couple spins? I think it's a couple spins time. Oops. 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 Why are you stomping on... on my boy there, huh? Wow, 70! That's what a, a 70 attack power weapon will do to a black Hinox. Big rips to you, bro. <laughs> oh, this takes me into the... Okay, let me find the, the bubble frog. This way, or the other way? Okay, so I was going the right direction. Nearby, up above. Because of those two games being so... Hello. Um... Really? Coming out later this year. Why do they limit me on how high up I can fucking aim? Do I have to go up and then come down and like... Beat it up? Nope, too far. It's raining up here and wet, so I don't think I'm allowed to climb it. Does this depend on the bow? It does. I mean, should I just bomb it just for the splash damage? Oops. You know, maybe I can just use that. Nope. Oh, fuck. Uh, <sighs> if 
fine. I'll just jump back down. I just didn't want to enter the maze yet. Oh god. Oh god, please. You're joking! Fuck it. Drop it. <laughs> ah! The son of a bitch. <sighs> it shouldn't be this hard. And yet here I am. Um, struggling. Oh, you're up here now? At least- ugh. Okay, bye! Going up. No, I have not found Kilton. I have not talked to Kilton once. Is this treasure gonna beep at me once I try to touch it? Or are their gloom hands gonna come after my hole? Ah, yeah, ready to run, are we? <laughs> Fuck them hands. So, uh... Am I supposed to find the entrance to this place, or what? Did they fill this whole thing with water? Alright, let's see what the intro boy has to say. Ice. Fruit. Research log, day one. It took us two days to reach this isolated island through the ruins. Though the ruins stood before us, we were too exhausted to explore. Though weary, Turo was able to decipher the Zonai writing on the stone slab. The dragon ring slumbers in the labyrinth's depths. Wake it, and ye shall receive due compensation. While his translation provided me with renewed vigor, Turo shortly thereafter fell ill with fatigue. After seeing him off on his way home, I swore to tackle the ruins myself. The acorns and nuts I prepared to mark my path should see to it that I do not get lost inside. Though I am alone, I need to work hard enough for both Toro and myself. Who built this platform here? Multiple platforms. In some places it's deep, in other places it's not. Is it just rain here the whole time? You know, maybe this... The fused one shows further, it seems like. No, no. This one does. Because it has so much range, but I can't move with it. I, I kind of want my floaties. And a different shield. If I put a log on this, will it help me swim better? Nah. I love me my bookcase swimmies.
I don't know why it presented me with logs like that. Oh yeah, this is, is real nice swimming with that outfit on. You can see the depth of the water in the map. This is my first time doing a spin attack with the full outfit on. Why did they why did they do this? They gave me a pre-made like raft thing. I, oops. In case, like, I needed it? Whatever. I got swim boots on. Or swim outfit. I'll be just fine. I'm only looking to the side to see if there are treasures. You know, there is a platform down here. Let me just look down the hallway real quick. Yeah. A whole ass box. For what? For activities? Oh. Yesterday and Wednesday I didn't stream on the account of me being stressed out that my mom was flying alone and she needed to get a new SIM card because she lost it in Cambodia. And so I got a replacement eSIM for her, and she never set it up. She never got people there to help her set it up. So, like, when I went to pick her up yesterday, she didn't call me, and apparently she had been waiting for 30 minutes or so, which is not bad, but the traffic through LAX was a total shit show. It Once I entered in the, the central terminal area to go around in the circle, it took... No lie, one hour just for me to f to go to a parking structure that was available, that had spots, that was close to the terminal where my mom was. And, you know, I got there when her flight landed. It would take her approximately like a half hour to get through security. Or, or customs, I should say. Man, it is entirely fucked up that place lex is insane completely 100 percent should not be a fucking thing later this year they're supposed to finish the people mover so if anyone has to like take me to lex or whatever I'm gonna ask them to drop me off at that little train place instead. Oh, Ellie is completely embarrassed, and the only reason we're able to do this people mover is because Los Angeles is hosting the Olympics in five years. That was the only political thing that we could do in order to get any movement on having an actual system that takes people through the airport terminal. Hopefully that alleviates some traffic and also allows me to take public transportation to the airport, but that connection's not gonna be finished until late next year. 
And so it's really put a damper on, on any kind of traveling I want to do just because of how much of a hassle it is to get to the airport. I could theoretically go to like my local airport, which has Southwest, but I, I'm not too keen on the whole... I, I have to do my cross-country flights type of thing. I don't necessarily just do... Half, halfway distance. There's, there's, there's no cross-continental flights on Southwest that do things from the airport that I'd like to do it from. Iron Boxy, everyone. <laughs> oh God, more boxes. Game loves boxes. Research log day two. I walk carefully, avoiding the avoiding the stirring gloom. Just one touch, and it will evade the body in a blink of an eye. It was a wise decision to send Taro home, allowing him to continue our trek in his condition may have proved fatal. But what exactly is this strange gloom? And more importantly, have they found the princess and her swordsman who delved beneath Hyrule Castle to investigate it? I can only pray for their safety. They're dead now. No thanks to you. Is like the only hint in this area just wherever there's a raised platform above this water level? Also, light cues. Yeah, I don't know why they gave me ice. Is there a second level? Wait, do I have a weapon that will light this on fire for me? I, I do. Look at those balls bounce. Can I climb this? Ah, I can. What is this? A, a long sword. Goodbye, Iron Box. I'm finally doing some travel to New York City. Because I'm going for a wedding. And that actually spurred me on to finally doing my passport. So that's in the mail. Uh, please clap for me. Research log day three. My searching has finally led me to a zone I relic. I must hurry back and tell Toro all about it. Though I must admit my curiosity remains peaked. I'm not sure if I'm quite ready to leave these ruins. For instance, I can see a lower level from this room. Just how is one supposed to reach it? Oh yeah, also when I was driving through LAX, I saw uh, one of the buses hitting a, looks like a private black car. Oh man, just what a huge mess that place is. Hey, 
It also doesn't help that they're doing lots of construction, so some of the routes are closed off. Some of the lanes are also closed off, so it goes from like five lanes to four lanes to three lanes and then back to five lanes. So like if you have to do a loop, you're gonna spend another like five hours in that place. And it gives me so much stress to drive to LAX. It's like the, the fifth circle of hell. Oh wow, this is actually kind of pretty. Looking out word. Why did they give me a torch? Are there, is there anything that is in here that's not lit? Yeah, so my, I won't get my passport back for like four months. Did they at least give me stuff to launch myself upward? Now. God. Kind of sucks. Like, I wish I could build a rocket that has, like, first stage, then, like, booster separation, and then second stage, and then that. I need it for my Korok space program. Is there really not a higher? <sighs> Guess not. I mean, I guess I could write it up. Bonk. Where's the mine at? I'm looking the wrong direction. It should be this way, right? Oh, it's over there. Uh, girl, you can get no higher than this. No. I got hit by a rocket arrow. Do you know how homophobic that is? Extremely. 100%. Homophobic. This means war. Is it really too high? <laughs> I'm playing with my Lego blocks. Fuck you. I hit him with a, a scepter alone, which was probably not my smartest move. Oops. This is still so far away. I'm gonna kill that bird.
pretty good height. I don't know if it's enough. You know what I don't have? I don't have a, a rocket... Um, a rocket shield in case I don't have enough height. Got my fingers crossed. I hope I'm not short. I think I'm gonna be fine. With two lens assistants. Think. Hungry again. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. Brown rice and chicken. Doesn't that sound just downright appetizing? Maybe I can just have a drink instead. Is that allowed? Just like foregoing sustenance? Because I've had two full meals today already. Uh oh. Um... Okay, we're fine. Good thing I made those elixirs. Hey, at least this maze has somewhat of a different... exterior. Oh. What do you mean I can't shield surf on an iron box, Nintendo? It's a real shrine? Well, they said jump. So well, here I go. Oh, I was gonna jump, not get on the ladder, but Nintendo had other thoughts for me. get back like actually how do I get back never mind where's my opal That's the one thing about low grav, is you can't change what you're doing. Ah! Mid-jump, you have to pull out your parachute to control where you land. Eh, whatever. Oh, we did it, Joe. 
We made it. Did I need the vehicle for this side too? Or could I have just like taken some of those things along with me? This is like a whole ass Mario Kart area. Oh shit. What in Christ's name that they do? To imagine that I was going to do that on foot. And you know I would have. But a vehicle sounds like a lot more fun. Especially with low grav. Oh wait, I'm going to run into them. And make some shields. With rockets on them. Goodbye! Rocket powered wheels. We're putting four on it because uh, we want to know exactly how terribly this is going to go. Good. 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 The fact that I could turn in midair with the car is. Not how physics works, but thanks to Nintendo for allowing me to turn midair in a vehicle. Thank you. Open the gates! To you who set foot in my labyrinth of the sky, I offer a test of wisdom. There are four terminals. Stare at your map and find the way. There is low gravity in here. Going and like playing this game and then watching some clips from Final Fantasy 16 that just came out this week, it makes me pretty sad, mad, jealous of uh, everybody else who gets to have fun. Playing a Nintendo game. I mean, playing a Final Fantasy game on a, a console that can handle it. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Okay.
This wasn't the one that I was trying to get. But it's the one that I'm going to have to do anyways. Shit. Well, I see what that one wants me to do, so I'm going to ignore that one and go elsewhere. This is dead end. Good. That's not gonna scare me. I didn't want to go down on this side, actually. How well can you read maps, the game asks. What is in this middle section? Piece of clothing? Big battery! Oh yeah, just just fucking rock it over it. Can I just zoom straight across? Does not appear to be the case. Oh, we are flying! Then I went the wrong way. Where is she? Uh, shall I do the, the boss at the bottom with uh, quite normal fighting tactics? Or should I attempt something more unruly? Uh, which is what I typically do.
I, I don't really care if there's treasures in here. I'm kind of over that aspect uh, being this far in the game. Well, I see it. That wasn't that hard, was it? It also helps a lot that I have this flight suit on, which makes it a hell of a lot easier. To navigate, even with the parachute, even though I'm not falling like that. Jump, my child, jump! Yeah, all, all the mazes are the same. It's not super different. It's all the same concepts. That's the one thing I'll say about these mazes. Is they're not fully unique enough. Oh, we're, we're gunning it. What if I miss the hole? Oh, there's a treasure in here? I wonder if I've missed treasures in the, the other depths. Ah, pretty good weapon. Goodbye, rocket. I wonder what like piece of outfit that I, I get for doing this. So let me wear something different. Attack up. Eh, eh, it's all right. Handy dandy bookcase. The weapon they just gave me. We're good on food. I'll probably need that. And how are we doing on light? Did you really not see me? Whatever. Fighting in a water arena? For what purpose?
attack up goes fucking hard. Is she really just gonna stay there or is she gonna attack me? Fine. I'll just beat her ass in the corner. Goodbye. Yeah, you know, I didn't even try doing a dodge rush or a flurry rush. I just moved my ass out the way. Oh. I don't I don't even need the charges anymore. I have full battery. God, that looks so ugly on the back of me. I didn't even light up this arena one bit. I left it in the dark. I'm like not even reading the text anymore. <laughs> Yeah, the full attack up outfit is... It's too good. Uh, the lighting, like, changed significantly. Evil spirit armor. Some believe this armor is inspirited by a malevolent entity. It's a rather refined. What set is it a part of? Evil spirit mask. Disguise bone weapon proficiency. This is does this doesn't have a set bonus. This doesn't have a set bonus. Which ones have a set bonus? I like knowing the set bonuses. Definitely no bonus for this outfit. Shock, damage, resist. None. I, you know, I didn't realize that some of these were only like two levels of like resistance. Link is in black and white in that area with no color. That's kind of creepy. Kind of cool, kind of creepy. Hello, Lightroot. It's lit. That's going to be me later today. I just wish I had sweets. I have no sweets. That's what I get for cutting weight. I've done very little in this area. It's like inaccessible from anywhere else. That's gnarly. But what do you think is over here?
I'm up for an old map treasure marked on the map. Why? Thought my yellow pin is gone. Where's my yellow pin? I just can't. I'm not allowed to pin it. Fucking hell. I just want to know that I'm going in the right direction. What, do I have to put a different pin here? Where's my pin at? Christ's sake. You know, are there any... Oh yeah, there's a light route out there that's probably going to be a pain in the... Oh my god. It's going to want me to go all the way around. Oh my god. Maybe that's why I couldn't pin something there, because it was... Crap. I don't, I don't even have to mine for Zonite anymore unless I want to spam... Oops. Auto build, and I don't typically want to spam auto build. Kinda wish they gave me other things to use. Cause some of these tools ain't it. I don't know what weapon this is. So just spear. It's the same materials there. I mean, I guess I could take a picture of it, right? You can't take a picture of the ghosts! Unless I'm too close to it. Good picture! I'm quite the artiste. Is it all uphill because it's like on the shore? Link is brave for going through the depths with no shoes on. Also Link, I don't know how you're going up this slope. But thank you. Oh, hope you soon. Got a little too steep for him. Link has some pretty nice calves. And I remember jumping off the Sky Island for the first time. Link has a, a nice tushy too. He got a little BBL when he was in the... The... It wasn't... Not Shrine of Resurrection. It was a Shrine of Awakening. 
Was it even a shrine? Trying to figure out why there's like a hole over there. The hole just like got smaller. This looks like a whole ass temple. We're bombing them. God damn it, I tried to dodge it again and my fucking ass can't do it. I tried. <laughs> my dumbass thought that was a bright bloom. So you can't fucking see, mate. Wrist mine. literally gave me no plane. Hi. Get fucked. That rock. So much pain. I, I didn't feel like fighting three of these assholes at once. Doll Moblin, no thank you. Not when I've like, in, like completely fumbled. The bag. Got some like 
quite good leaping ability, these little boys. These little frocks. Fine. I'll eat something. Oh, that didn't do shit. Still garbage. Like, really? Where is he? Br brother! There you are, brother. All that for two Zonite. That's how frustrating those quote unquote loads are. Like, totally not worth the trouble. I think that was the sound of frocks. Yeah, I, sorry I deleted them. There's got to be a, a way to sort the weapons by most recently used because I hate going all the way back and forth across the menu. Why duplex bow? Oh, she's going in. Bye. Oh, oh, I thought he was dead. I almost got completely got. That is the power of my iron box, is that it's such a huge hitbox. How ugly is this gonna look? Really, Link? Extremely ugly. I almost did it again.
Killed them all. You killed one. Is it gonna eat it? Man, this is pretty long. <laughs> Ridiculous. I guess if I ever want a, a bright bloom back, I can have a, a, a little Frox boy eat it. Nice. Like, it looks cool, but it's not worth the amount that actually comes out. And I wonder, like, how much of it is, like, stuck underneath because they definitely allowed it to go past the ground. It, like, clips through. I mean, also my weapon clips through all that too. It's it's no Dark Souls. If this was a Dark Souls, uh, my ass would be grass. So why does this get to be a mine, unlike the other mines, which are at Mountaintops, the canyons. Okay, my suspicion was incorrect. I have. I'm gonna run out of arrows. The arrow's on fire. I need it back. And I missed. Can I parry her? Oh, I didn't get a chance to parry her. Dude, aim for the fucking head. I blew that spear away. Wow. As for you, I want to parry. Lynn, I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm trying to do something and <laughs> you're having fun shooting the dudes and getting crits like like nothing. If there's a giant frox at the end of this, I'm gonna be beside myself. <laughs> Get fucked! I'm sorry, the slow motion? Parry? <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? your ass. Never mind. <laughs> Oops. I missed. Got manhandled. I 
feel like I'm going in circles. No. Link, you're going in spirals. Parry it. <laughs> Parry it. Nope. You're dead. Oops. Yeah, at least I threw it further. Oops. Okay, yeah, I have that. Parry. <laughs> oh my god, you're so fucked up, you know, Bo? Yeah, Nobo fucking cleared them little froggy things. Yeah, Nobo's a baddie. He knows it. I picked the worst X marked on the spot to go after. <sighs> really? Are they done? Okay. There's... I kinda am. That's the one thing about collecting weapons and your besties pop out of nowhere and then they just activate. That's <laughs> so sad. Yeah, I get a little confused when my my friends yeah. take the aggro. I'm like, why are they not going after me? Yeah. Am I the body? my last rock thing. <laughs> oh, we finally see the end. Should probably use a different weapon. Guess who has 999 bright bloom seeds? It's me. Hi, I'm the hoarder. It's me.
I was just making sure there wasn't like anything that resembled a boss out here. Just a, like a bunch of frocks. Full of frocks! Crush this frocks with a rock hammer. Now I want tacos. I need some like shrimp tacos. Maybe a a fried fish taco. Battered. Insane. As in, this whole area has made me go insane. Oh no, I burned the plants. I am an environmental terrorist! They're just up there chilling. I'm gonna leave them alive. Oh, you ate the food? Ah. I didn't get to pair. He was too close to me. Link kicked it with his bare foot. The tunic of Twilight. Maybe it looks like it was from a wolf? I need Kappa Twilight. It's like different shades of green. Because Link has been green forever. Except this game where he was blue. As in Link has blue balls from Zelda saving the day more than Link. Zelda's the reason why anything gets done. Look at it. He like lands on his back when he gets parried. Is there anything else here? Eh, I'll never know. That also means that there is a shrine here and here, huh? Uh, a foot light thing. I think it's easiest to go from here. I'm just gonna do the light routes in this area and then see if I can get the last couple islands in the sky that I haven't been to. Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Uh, this one might be quite high up, given that one was on the bottom of the shoreline, and then the other one was, like, sort of in a cave area. Gonna be troublesome, so. Yeah, you see them? One down here, one all the way up there. I'm gonna need, like, a rocket vehicle to get to one of them easier than the other. This is a cool rock uh, root formation. All that for one. Okay, two bomb flowers.
tomorrow I'm gonna go to a brewery tomorrow evening. One of my friends is doing a gig there playing guitar with her band, so that should be a good old time. Fuck is this? Looks like a no for me, dog. A whole ass shaft. I want pasta bad. But I have to be skinny. Oh, there's a whole ass water way down here. Fuck is that plus sign over there? So they didn't do anything special for that. Do you think this is a Yiga hideout? Oh, that's what that shaft is. That plus sign here is that shaft. But that doesn't make it easy for me to get up to that light route. And it's hard for me to tell if they built me a ramp to get up there. This is somewhat sloped up enough, but there's this also crisscrossing path. This goes down and up and might lead up the, uh, uh, like a caveway. Uh, I think I'm going to go through the middle just so I can see what's on the other side. And see if there's something special where Malena, the horse god, just uh, resides. Uh, it is a Yiga camp. <laughs> so uh, am I just going to wait for her to circle so I can steal her boat after? She is way over here. This is the lady doing the spells. Is she only going on the inside? Let's see if this will reach. No? Was that a waste of eyeball? What is going on? Two Aracuda eyeballs now floating that I will retrieve when I'm done. Yeah, make your ass over here. Make your ass over here. Get your ass over here. Poof. Um. Wait. I can't believe I can make the eye... Aracuda stuff. Rewind. 
As for this, let me get the boat. And rewind the boat so I can get closer to all the goodies back here. Thank you. Good thing rupees float. Hi, control, please. Thank you. Lore dump. We've completed our investigation of this region. At first, it seems like the caverns extend indefinitely. When traveling to the most remote locations, however, walls appear. It appears as though there are limits to the depths after all. Every area we understand brings us closer to realizing Master Koga's great and glorious ambition. Glory, Master Koga. The Reaper is going to uh, die very soon. I, do I just buy charges with this now? Head, light, raft. Nice. Well, should I just break it? You can't pick up any more of it because you don't need it, you hoarder. Oh, I can. I'm gonna beat his ass with a. Uh, you know, you know, bow. Oh, didn't work. Didn't work. It worked. I don't know what I could do with the rockets. I'm going to get my arrow and then make my way to... Uh-oh. Where'd the eyeball go? I mean, thanks for the arrows, I guess. I wonder if I can make a submarine. A submersible, if you will. Do 
do you not want to get on the water? <laughs> that little baby thing, like, hit... A bubble frog. Oops. 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 How did this get over here? Oh, because I knocked his ass over here. See how it disappears? When I take a camera photo? It's a little shy. No photos, please. I mean, I could have brought the vehicle this direction, I just decided not to. Will this get me? This is a sheer fucking cliff. All right, time to put on your climbing gear. Oh, God, it's such an ugly outfit. Damn right, we're climbing. Dude, climbing gets me so disoriented because I don't know what's like straight up. back here? Like, what are they doing? Pretty cool view from up here. Whole ass big boy. 
Alright, let's take the... The fun way up. Always some like eerie music on these like shafts. Oh my god. <laughs> Link, thought you could sneak past us, did you? Come out front and let's settle this. I've already bought them. <laughs> I don't like any of my weapons. doesn't have a lot of defense though. Uh, get the ab gear. <laughs> oh, I just killed a Korok. Did he just clip into the building? Oh no. It's fine. Huh. That's a fun way to get inside this little area, but we, we've already done the fun stuff here. It doesn't like the fact that I was touching it, so it didn't let me go up it. Goodbye, arm. I think I was supposed to go and talk to somebody for one of the missions. Floating down is a lot slower than I thought it would be. Uh, it's probably a Yiga. I don't feel like fighting. I feel like checking things off me list. Apparently there's a way to get a, a bonus boost from pulling out the weapon. We wouldn't stand a chance against those monsters if they decided to attack the stable. Maybe I should look for a job elsewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, you defeated every last one of them? Hold on a second, it's not that I don't believe you, I need to check for myself. It's the only way I'll sleep at night. <laughs> you aren't kidding, I can't believe it. There are so many monsters before, but now they're gone. <laughs> well, you're just amazing. Sorry, I'm just so surprised. I mean, you don't look that strong. Have you seen my abs? But you've been such a huge help. I can already feel the, sh feel the stress those monsters caused leaving my body. Thank you. That reminds me, do you have a Pony Points card? Uh... Let me just add two points to show my thanks. I'd like to give you this too. A carrot. Ah. There's supposedly a favorite of the horse god Melania. He lives a short distance away from the stable, in fact. I'd 
plan to ask him to help me with monsters, and he was going to give it to him as a gift, but now that the monsters have been handled, I'll give it to you instead. It's a valuable carrot, and it doesn't grow around here. Be careful not to accidentally eat it. Anyway, I should get back to work. Goodbye. Tarm point. But also, I haven't been to this island or this island. We'll see what awaits me there. What did I put up here? Oh. Uh, is that something I haven't been to either? That doesn't need to be there. Oh. Probably like an old map island more than anything. Melania down there. It's not Kilton. It's cool that she goes purple. Okay, but why male models? Fuck ton of batteries. And a few... Fairies? Who are you calling fairy, fairy? It's me. The Bone God. Here to bone... the world. One... bone at a time. No Korok? Alright. I need all of you guys together. As one unit. I need you on... This flying contraption thing. Is it even going to fly? Just to go here. It it flies with all the batteries. I don't know if we're going up or not. Kinda hard to tell. And then when the batteries all separate... Okay, well, you know what? We're just gonna have to be patient. And if I run out of battery, at least I have eight battery on top of whatever the batteries I just decided to shove on it already. Hopefully it goes in an order in which like the other batteries don't like fall off because that's also a possibility. Some 
birds up here. Real high up. For some reason, this contraption doesn't fade as quickly as the wing or the box. Alright, we've got some height. I think I can push the acceleration a bit. <laughs> I guess we're gonna use it. Don't have any other weapon. Oh, it's stomping on them hoes. Riding on it? Pretty fun. God, I try to make it undo its little transformation here. Get got. Total transformation. Animal and mineral too, and even <laughs> vegetation. I don't know. I give you sexy corn. Gonna be like a large charge. Old map. Eh. Eh. Who am I supposed to show this to? Somebody. on the other side of Death Mountain, where that cherry blossom tree is. Because there still is a lot down here that I simply have not gotten. I'm sure there are tons of caves down here, too. Look, I've completely ignored this half of the map. Um... Maybe I can go for the one that's located here. Yeah, I can just teleport. And then I'll I'll go and mark a bunch of them.
I fully don't remember why I have this peak. Korok? Nope. Oh, I think Kilton was here. Okay. You know, I could just finish the rest of this. Oh, it's a bird. I thought it was a, a Korok arrow. This area... For Terrytown. The whole racetrack. And now my friends are gone. Yeah, I fully did not find out where that cherry blossom thing was. I know they want me to build stuff. You're the traveler from before. I knew you couldn't stay away. Take a look at this. With the help of cuts in construction, we built a course for test driving vehicles. These runs will help us better research the steering stick's capabilities. So welcome to Terry Town Race. I'm so grateful for you, you found the steering stick. Now I can get to work on the project I'm most excited about. Thank you, really. With Tully as a test driver, we spent a lot of time tinkering with the course design, and we arrived at this masterpiece. Watching you drive the course is very informative. I'm grateful. Talk so. Uh, drivers have to use the steering stick we provide. It's the only way I can collect the data we need. As far as the vehicle itself, anything goes. Use whatever you like. Now, if you're up for it, I'd love to see you do some driving. And while you're up to it, why not spice things up with a little competition? Say, you versus Tali. She used to be the dame of the dunes, you know. If you can beat her best time, well, you win. <laughs> yeah, not a bad idea. Oh. Sounds fun. If I recall correctly, her best time is two minutes. So how about it? Yeah. Let's do it. Once you've readied the vehicle you plan to use, go ahead and attach the steering stick we prepared. Oh. Any zone I device or building material you find around here is yours to use. Just let me know when everything is ready. You see this thing wigging out a little bit? A nuanced understanding of the strange power of the Zonai civilization would broaden the scope of practical applications of the devices. Oh. Oh, apologies, I was lost in thought. The Zonai devices here all fell from the sky. I surveyed various regions, but I haven't found devices in this quantity anywhere but Terrytown. Mm. My research into practical applications is progressing well. I've studied the Zonai civilization for a long time. To us Zonai-obsessed research team members, this place is paradise. Oh. You're free to take what you please. Removal will not hinder my research. Hmm. For so many Zonai devices to be concentrated in one area, could they still be in production on the Sky Islands? Is that even possible? I barely brushed through this area. That's what it seems like to me. He's not a fan. No vehicles? Bum 
practice the only rocket here. Well, as long as they don't have to do any... Boating. The vehicle looks good. Ready to begin? Seeing stick is all set up, so we're good to begin. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see, I'll first activate the switch for the course. Hit all the lights. Don't take your hands off the steering wheel once you've grabbed it or go too far. Now, on your mark, get set. Yay! Are the big wheels slower than the small wheels? Like, I can't tell if I'm slowing down in the water at all. Bitch. I'm gonna finish this in a minute and ten seconds. All because of my rocketing head start. <laughs> I can't believe it, you broke Tali's record. Here's my way of thanking you for helping us collect so much valuable race data. Who'd have thought a Vol could race like that? I'll say it, that was some brilliant driving. Your mastery at the stick. That was impressive, well done. Well, how about that? It's not often Tali has so much to say. It seems like her next great rivalry has begun. I'm honored to witness the beginning. After seeing how you optimized your racing line, I feel like you're a bit ready for something more challenging. You and I should talk. Come see me later, will ya? <laughs> Thanks for coming. The thing I wanted to talk to you about is, well, you see, uh, I'm very pale. Operating expenses for the Terrytown race are a bit tight. What I'm trying to say is, we're going to charge an entry fee. Exciting news, isn't it? Yes? No? Well, sorry. Perhaps exciting is the wrong word. It's a difficult announcement to make, and I can see that giving it a cheery spin did not help. <laughs> But we still have the expert course, which I believe is worth trying if you do have to pay a fee. And of course, I'll reward you if you're able to get good data. So I'm confident the experience will be well worth the 10 rupees. Ah. Let me make adjustments. I, I need a couple more rockets. I need like two rockets. You think my wood platform is too heavy? Dude turned around. Oh, there's another rocket right there. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go. Expert course. All right, time to beat. Three minutes. Touch the lights and come back, but don't let go. Don't go far off. On your marks, get set. Yay! Well, it got me through like the first two. What happens if I run out of battery? Do I have to consume my charges in the menu? Like, I wonder if there's a way to chain rockets. So you can constantly get good rocket fire. Also, I think they made it so that you consume energy a lot less quickly. finish this plenty of time. I couldn't tell if this was a ramp or not. Ah. I can't believe you cleared the expert course. Here, please, I want you to have this memento. A large charge. What are you gonna do now? Feel like giving it another go? No. Is it because I'm wearing this outfit that people are scared of me? Look like you heard out. What? You again? Didn't I tell you this is a Hudson construction site? She is a asshole to me. I saved the world already a couple times. Don't be a dick. I'm a god. Yeah, I don't remember this guy island at all. I don't remember this in the slightest. Oops. Well, because I maxed out, they said uh, it'll be a waste for you to use it. Are you sure you still want to use it? Instead of me accidentally burning it. Uh, I need more. I didn't get Construct's head, heads in that. Oh, that other one was a Construct head, so I guess I have to keep gambling until I get it. That's what it sounds like. 
It's not like some bonus one. It's uh, keep gambling. It's not some missing bubble part that I just haven't discovered yet. I think I have already done that. I can always go down there and it will tell me if I've I've, I've beaten it or not. Will there be fairies here? The answer is no. I mean, it only looks golden because of the lighting, I think. Defeated already, okay. Okay, let's see what other sky islands I should do. Let's go there. Oops. I have to land first to teleport? Big, weird, strange, sad. <sighs> Meat. Into the sunset. Is that the Temple of Time? Yeah. It indeed is. the fuck is sh shooting at me? <laughs> Do it. Oh fuck. Go. Let me parry this ass. Oh, they're just missing, period. I mean, where I'm trying to get to is like over there, so I'm just gonna float. Bear. It's cold in here. No, I'm gonna leave my abs showing. And there's just like a whole bunch of like mini rocks. You know, sometimes they put treasures here. Sometimes. Am I gonna make it? Sometimes they put fairies. What is all these things? Swords and shields and. Crap, I don't need. Probably no Korok up here.
Well, there's a star bit. Let's see where she goes. Is she gonna be in the water or on an island? It's gonna disappear at a specific time, but you know what I can do? I can teleport there! I want the star bit so I can put it on a, a scepter and have the power of light. And then I just teleport myself out of there and then go to Tarn Point. Because I can. Now I need to find this little shaft of light that fell somewhere. Little shaft. Usually they make the little shaft a little more apparent. Did it disappear because I teleported? Because if so, that indeed is now that's what I call homophobic. I don't know how the pig got to these islands. The pig take the bridge? <laughs> Fuck your rocks. Wow, they really did take it away from me. Oh, Blood Moon tonight? Great. I don't understand the physics and or behaviors of these. Things. Oh. What are you doing here? Uh, this shrine must be the one we heard in the ancient manuscripts text. I had better wait for Sasan here. I skipped the whole cutscene now because Zelda doesn't speak in it anymore. Why is there a light on the other side? Do I have to transport the child across? This floating river thing? It's not even a child, it's a full-on Hyrulean. What should I do? Oh boy, that startled me. I didn't expect to see anyone else here. Did you come here in search of treasure after hearing about the ancient manuscripts from Coda? That's right, it's an ancient manuscript left behind Coda's ancestors. Since Finley is Coda's daughter, we asked her to tell us all about the contents of the document. It said, long, long ago, at Tarn Point, a blessed stone was hidden away in a shaky shrine. Uh, but, uh, I know it's an ancient manuscript and all, but the writing lacked clarity, if you ask me. I was a bit skeptical mm -hmm. at first, but come on, it's a sacred shrine. If I was going to hide treasure, that's exactly where I'd leave it. 
Finley was so convinced that she declared treasure hunt ahoy. Next thing I knew, she left Zora's domain. She was so excited, and where Finley goes, I go. So here I am. We made it all the way to this cave as a team. But then Finley swam away all by herself and went deep in the cave. Mm. Don't lag behind, she hollered back at me. Easier said than done, I'm afraid. Finley thinks I'm capable of anything. She's really such a sweetheart. Been training like mad, but I'm not a very good swimmer. Aww. And found a perfect little raft. I thought I could ride to her location. Mm. Nope, the water in this cave goes up and down drastically, so if you manage to get going, you end up on a rock. That means I have no way forward, so I'm not sure what to do. Promise, Finley, if... Of course, we'll find the treasure together. Anything for you, that's what I said. What should I do? I don't know. Get on the boat. A narrow boat. See a bomb. Link. Fucking hell, Link. <laughs> Get on the boat! You're really going to help me get to where I need to go on the, on the raft? Thank you. You're ridiculously kind. I'll gladly accept your help. It's not dangerous. Oh. That is a rock. Bonk. So, about steering, huh? How about I just, uh... Move you. Is that good? It's going to sink? Yep. You bet it is. And it's gone. Over here, says Finley. I'm on a rock. A few rocks. We did it! Finally here. Thank you. Saison, look at you. You're so pale. Are you alright? Oh. I'm fine, really. I'm so sorry I kept you waiting. <laughs> look at that. There's some stone emitting a mysterious light. Could this be the sacred shrine that houses the blessed stone written of in that ancient manuscript? Oh. But I don't see any treasure like I was imagining. How disappointing. Mm. Finley, we journeyed all the way to this cave from Zor's domain. In search of treasure, it's really tough, but now the two of us have the memory of seeing the sacred shrine together. Ah. This means more to me than any treasure ever could, even though there's a shrine like this in Zora's Domain. Ah. Our little treasure hunt was a blast, I'll never forget it. You're right, this memory is truly the greatest treasure of all. Mm. Thank you so much for bringing me all the way out here. It's because of you that Finley and I have this treasured memory. Oh, that reminds me. Take this. I insist. <laughs> I picked this up along the journey to the cave. I'd be overjoyed if it helped you out in some way. I have something for you, too. Here, take this. Just like Saison, I found this on my way here. It matches his. What a great day, Finley. How about we head back to Zora's domain? I can't wait to tell Coda. The story from that ancient manuscript was real. Sounds delightful. However, let's be sure to hold hands as we swim back so we don't get separated again. Sounds difficult, but if it's you want, sure thing. Please just take it nice and easy on the way back. Yep, yeah, and that's why we took swim lessons at MIT.
I'm supposed to take a picture at Tarn Point, but I don't remember for what. Tuft Mountain? I don't know what Tuft Mountain is. This is Tuft Mountain, okay. Uh, that's Gloria, power in secret, missing owner, yeah, okay, so there isn't anything else at Tarn Point, so I was mistaken. All right, might as well just say hi to the springs, huh? It's almost 10 o'clock. Going the wrong way, good. <laughs> Surprised they don't freeze in this water. Is it true the goddess statue in the canyon has toppled? These are ill tidings, devout swordsman. That is the mother goddess statue. I implore you to help me restore her. Seek the blue spirit Nadra who chills the air around her as she dances across the heavens. When you have Nadra's claw, offer it as the spring. The claw! They all want claws. Do I even have Din Dinral's claw? They all want claws. I have Dinral Spike. I have Nature's Claw. They didn't say drop it in the water. Thank you, devout swordsman. I have sent a measure of my strength to the mother goddess statue. For this pious deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. There are two other goddess statues who guard springs as I do. For the sake of the mother goddess statue, I ask that you assist them as well. And usually, when I have the thing that they need, they just tell me to, like, They just take it from me, from my, like a, a menu.
Is this... Korok Seed? Nope. Yeah, uh, uh, finding the things I'll, uh, that won't happen for a while until, like... Maybe later at some point. Uh, Melena, I think I have the guts you so require. I just honestly don't know what they look like. I don't. Bokoblin, Horblin. I wish there was a way to organize this by Gliak, Horn, or Wing. By enemy type. Gliak Horn, Frost Horn, Flame Horn. Uh, everybody else's horns, but none of their guts. Homophobic! Because I've killed a few of them. I guess they're organized by. Types. Very strange that I do not have one. Do I have to take a picture of the ruins for her, or do I have to take her there? Like, I don't understand. There, there's, there's nothing significant in the flavor text that tells me what I'm supposed to do for this quest. Well, which dragon is this? Hi, Farash. Terrible. Hi, I need a claw. If you'd so kindly offer me one, thank you very much. <laughs> Bitch, why are you going that direction? Haha. <laughs> 
Got the claw! Bobble frog nearby. Bitch, where am I? Why is there a whole ass fire down here? Why is there a whole ass crystal? Somebody, you found me. I was sure no would come looking for me all the way out here. Got split up from my friends, tried looking for them, and the dehydration set, and then I couldn't move. Sure, I could go ask for a squash of splash fruit. I could kiss you right now? No. You're not allowed to. No, that's refreshing. Never in my life have I ever been so grateful for splash fruit. I think that now, yep, my limbs work again. I'd better go up and meet with my friends. Thanks for the save, pal. All right, dude. The Gerudo Canyon Crystal. Look at that dragon shadow above me. That's fucking insane. Oh, baby, that is not going to work, is it? Why is my vehicle six-wheeled? Oh. I have to take it up? This waterway? Oh, the game is struggling with this. It hates it. Oh, it hates it. If only I was here when I needed to take the Korok along, huh? Be nice if I had a suspension. That was there the whole time. Time for some good programming. Oh, Link is hot now? Why- why wasn't I suffering on the vehicle? Was it because it was morning time?
I think it's because I was in water. I originally was trying to go take a picture of the sword people. I was like, why am I not flying forward? That's why. Hi everybody from AJ's channel. Thank you for the raid. How was Final Fantasy 16 today? I'm about at the point where I kind of want to slow down with, with playing this game today. I've been playing for three and a half hours. Just doing little random side quests right now. Nothing too crazy. What is this? It's, it want me to take a picture of a hole? Oh. Very good. How's Tears of the Kingdom? I'm nearing towards the end. I have another like mission that I'm supposed to do, but I've kind of been doing story like once a week is how I've been approaching this game. Kind of been milking it. Uh, I... Oops. I hear... Uh, have you been playing... Final Fantasy 16 on performance mode or on quality 30 frames a second mode? I feel like the game is cinematic enough that it's probably fine in 30. But I wonder how that affects combat, if at all. Because it still is like an action RPG where you're mashing buttons and then changing... Changing attacks along the way. You had it on graphics mode, but then change it to performance one because there's this weird motion blur around the characters. Yeah. Yeah, motion blur can be a little weird, especially when many mini gamers are playing the game at at a very close proximity to the screen. And so motion blur is a lot more evident. I don't understand this quest. Huge statues face each other. So this is the place where huge statues face each other. You gave the guy a halo of fuzz almost. Oh, yeah, that, that can be a little jarring. I guess I can get out there. How? Oh, I certainly have not been here. How the f God's name am I supposed to get here?
Isn't it pretty late where you are? No, it's only just midnight over there, isn't it? I'm mistaken. I thought I put a pin here. I'm also mistaken. I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat tonight and I very well might just end up eating a peanut butter and honey sandwich. I don't do jelly for some reason. Uh, honey seems to be just good enough for me. Is it up there? You're fucking joking. Um... This? And this? I'm- I'm building it. A hundred and eight. Wait. Ba four fans, a thing- okay, hold up. And like a fuck ton of batteries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fans? I have no fans! Oh my god, I actually took them all out. Oh god. Oh, that actually saved me a lot of... Uh, Zonite. Your breakfast usually toast with peanut butter and honey? I like this. I like you. I am not the only one. If I had banana, I would put banana in it, but I do not have banana. Oh, I murdered a tree. So this is the part of the game where I just, uh... Fly for... It was probably is gonna amount to five minutes. And then while these batteries make it extremely unbalanced... Oh, we are not zooming, not in the slightest. I did not put any rockets on this. I probably should have considered a rocket. Do you like all the batteries that I have down here? <laughs> oh god, where is this thing? Okay, yeah. You know, I am gaining about a meter per second in the vertical direction, so I am... I am getting a lift. I'm, I am going up. Somehow. And probably a little bit faster as I lose the mass from batteries. You, you gotta love mass transfer for you rocket scientists out there. Which I, I was actually very bad at. Uh, I did very poorly in my, my physics class that had to deal with, like, Newtonian mechanics, kinematics, and all that stuff. Oh, uh, yes, so the mass is changing as we burn propellant. And somehow that makes us go even faster? Yeah. Oh wow, we are consuming energy like nothing. But I have full battery. I, I take it you finished this game or did you put it, or you decided to stop streaming it or... I forget. Because uh, the last time that we had like a full discussion about this game was when Padam just got released. <laughs> Yeah, that's all that really matters. The Padamic. She's truly iconic. I, I full-on went to the club for a month straight 
just to hear a glimpse of that song. And then I was so disappointed in the clientele of not being in a, a huge gay a panic like I did when I heard that song play. Do I need a full one? Yeah. Why not? I can't even tell if there's like... I, I fully don't know what it is. It looks like a Pokemon center because it has like two concentric circles. Anyways, we can zoom forward. I think I have enough height. I'm still gaining height by nudging myself forward too. You know, sometimes it's hard to tell. Oh no, height is that Z one at the, uh, the, at the end. I, I'm looking at the Y coordinate because I'm special. Yeah, if I didn't attach batteries to this thing earlier in the game, I would not have had it saved to reproduce. And I, I guess that also goes for me going down into the depths. Gonna have to abandon ship quite soon. Goodbye! Nice. Did it explode yet? Has it reached the point where it explodes? No, it's still giving me pixels down there. And it's gone. Oh, fuck off. This bitch? Oh, we are not living. We are- I'm not surviving this. I don't- <sighs> She's just up here having a good time. I'm going to beat her ass. The, th the three elemental. Can you recharge batteries or are they gone once they're used up? If you... If you don't have it go down all the way, you can intermediately recharge it. But if it goes down all the way, it has to go full before you start using it again. Um, the other way to do it is by consuming a battery beforehand. I'm saving. I'm also going to put a teleportation point and then I need a prep with a weapon to put on my master sword it wants me to put it on the wall How am I doing on arrows? I don't have enough arrows for this. So this will be fun. Let me bring out all my best friends to tank my frame rate. Hi, bitch. You wanna fuck with me? Oh, yep, they're fucking- Oh, we're fucking- Oh, fuck off! Oh, yeah, climb. Climb, Link. Uh... uh menuing. Best, fastest part of the game.
Oops, I missed. Okay, let's go in, go in, go in. Fuck him up. Oh, I need better... I need to eat... Uh, attack up. And then change clothes, because this shit ain't gonna cut it. I uh, know, oh I kind of want this because of the defense. Attack up goes a long way in this game. Oh, well, cool. 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 Where are those eyes at? Got one. Now I need something icy, please. And now for something thick. How about her? Oh, good. We get the sunset lighting? My favorite. Bitch, you better fucking move. You're giving me a lot of dazzle fruit. Okay, so I get a special cold buff? For wearing this? Cause it's cold now. Where's your hat, baby? Bestie. you please if only I could page through it instead of scrolling across that's the one problem about this don't have any more of the fun bows as for the thick boy up there I'm gonna need to do one of these I hit it. Is it coming down? Yes, it is. It come. It come. Oh, the Master Sword's gonna die. Master Sword! No. Oh, got a jet. Protect me. All right, I need the eyeball things, please, because aiming is for losers. Down, bitch. Okay, is she flying up? What's she doing? Yeah, she's flying. Sister, 
What are you sending out these beams? I should refill my hearts. Oh fucking bullshit! What the Christ name is going on? Yeah, a lot's happening. She's sending like full on. What the fuck? <gasps> um. <laughs> Bitch, the fuck? The house down boots. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just trying to float up and get on one of these. Thank you. That didn't help, did it? Where the fuck are they? Um. I don't care who it hits. I need them to fall, please. Oh, the music changed. Damn, sister, she dead. Goodbye! I wish I got a picture. I forgot to take a picture. <laughs> Good thing I collected some fairies earlier on, too. I wasn't expecting to do it that well. Yay! I got the guts I needed! Thunder. Yeah, I haven't fought a thunder one before. I've only fought fire and... Ice. Oh, the first time I fought one of them, it was... I was having such a hard time figuring out the strategy. This better be a nice piece of equipment. That's fine. Oh, there's a whole ass shrine I didn't get over here. And a fire, which means that's where that lady that's lost is probably at. Bring bring me some snacks as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't even have snacks at my house. Oh, that's one way to get to the shrine instead of going around the swirly whirly doom and fighting off all these people over here. Nah. I'm just glad I got to put on the, the cold, icy Woodstock outfit. Yay, real shrine! Naked shrine! Yeah, I'm not going to lure them well at all, knowing myself. I'm just going to run into the traps, all of the traps, because I'm, I'm dummy. Dummy thick. Don't even have a shield. What if I missed? Can I use this to block? Huh. Ah! Okay. 
I did not expect balls to appear. Um, thank you, ball. I would like another ball, please. Oops. That is not how one gets balls. I just want the balls. It's weird how once I grab a ball, it's it's gone. Ball's gone. Ow. Fuck. 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 Oh my god. They're coming for me. I can't get hit by him again. Please. Oh. Toxic. Toxic fight. Y you know how this was supposed to be luring them? All I did was just grab shit. Bye. Somebody else is alive. I, I don't have a shield yet. And it's gone. Well, that was almost catastrophic. Where's the treasure? Oh, it's in there. Okay. Yeah. I don't want special equipment. I just really went in there guns blazing. Usually I try to sneak around. Um... I got the I got the iron balls I wanted. <laughs> they wanted me to lure them into that trap and just steamroll them a whole bunch of times. But I did not. I could always do it again for the challenge, but I likely will not. You think it's easier to just jump from that platform where I fought that beast to, to get to that area down there, or does it not matter? To get to the dunes.
Oh, there is a whole ass Maduga. Whole ass. I haven't fought one yet. So I don't really know how to fight it in this game. I, I don't even think I have the... the bombs to do it. Here. Eat the bomb. Oh. Cool. I love the music though. The music is great. Oh no. Not you, Keese. What the fuck are you doing here? Keese, please. Open your mouth. Bum 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 bum. Ba -da 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 -da. Come here. God, this violin lick is uh, it hits so good. Fish eat. Can I get a picture? Uh, I don't like it. I like ish. Ah! <laughs> um, maybe not. Oh, it ate the bomb. Win. Goodbye, Molduga. My pounder has been pounded. She's dead. The Molduga! It's gone? GG easy. Oh wow, she's kind of hot. Fuck. <laughs> um, did you get rid of the Molduga? Can't believe you were able to defeat it. You must be incredibly strong. I never dreamed I'd run into a vote like you all the way out here. This must be fate, don't you agree? Ah. Oh, I'm Aisha. I run the jewelry shop in Gerudo Town. Came all the way out here to try to find some special things to add to jewelry, but before I knew it, somehow wandered right into Molduga territory. If you hadn't shown up, I had been at lunch. Since you saved me, you had to let me give you a fitting reward. <laughs> Might come as a surprise, but I'm actually the Gerudo's best blacksmith. If you come visit my shop, there's something special I can craft for you. Oh wait, he's a vote. You can't even get into town, huh? But if he could beat that monster, I mm -hmm. bet I f can feel fate's pull between us. I'm sure we'll meet again. All right, I'm going to head back to town and so I don't have to do good to worry about to work. It also helps that I had a weapon that does 55 damage. Uh, I'll, I'll take my bomb back. Thank you. Why is there a bird in the desert? Jawbone. Two treasure chests? I don't want it. I don't want it. Actually, <laughs> goodbye. Also, remember how I said I wasn't going to have enough arrows? I barely made it out with enough arrows. These don't look like dunes, by the way. Mm. 
I had no idea you were in such, huh? Well, look who it is. The owner tells me you rescued her from a Mulduga. Thank you, truly. Here's a little something to reward your bravery. I still can't believe you took on such a huge monster and won. Hylia and Voa are pretty impressive. It's because of you that I was able to make it back to town. I knew I'd see you again, of course, but I wasn't sure it'd be here. And even more surprising, not only do you mean something special to me for saving my life, but you are also special to Lady Riju. You are really a one-of-a-kind bow, aren't you? <laughs> I'd like to reward you as well. My reward is a little involved, so do you mind coming to talk to me when you have some time? Ma? Everyone, including me, has been able to get back to our normal lives, and it's all because of you. You know, we owe you a great debt, and I think I can begin to repay it by crafting the Arms of Seven for you. They are a sword and shield passed down by the Gerudo, and they can only be wielded by a chosen individual. I'm talking about the Scimitar of the Seven and the Daybreaker, of course. They're crafted using a special technique known only to me, and I have chosen you to carry them. Will you let me make the arms for you? Ma? That's the spirit. Then I need you to get some materials for me. Truth be told, I'd gather them myself, but it's the duty of the bear of the arms to do mm -hmm. it. Four diamonds, ten pieces of flint, a Gerudo Scimitar, and a shield. <sighs> Lady. I don't, don't have any of that. You're annoying. Hey. Let's talk to Lady Riju. And I kind of want another sand shield. Sand. Sand shield. To add to my collection. Because I miss them. Maybe I don't need another bookshelf, but also look how large this iron box shield is. It covers Link entirely. We can see Link again. Is that... Is that the treasure the old document mentioned? Wow. So the treasure was ancient... was armor affiliated with ancient Gerudo. I knew you'd be able to find it. Take this with you and make good use of, of it. Okay. Do you also want to see the helmet? Hmm. Haven't found any clues about the fifth stage yet, but I'm not about to get up. Oh, well. There's water here. So I guess the only thing we have left to do... Put her on my back. Whoa. What is all of this? The chief's beloved sand seal, Patricia. She's no ordinary sand seal. Please offer her some fruit, and in return, she'll share a reading with you. If you give her splash fruit, you almost get a strange number-filled reading. I can only assume the brilliance of the readings is simply beyond understanding. I got fruit. Only for the best in the game. Consume! Oh. A number sequence. I get to go to some coordinates. Minus three eight 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 minus two nine seven two zero zero three three. That was the reading Patricia gave. Mm. What do they mean? Will you eat dazzle fruit? Why is it upside down? If you're finding the night extremely cold, try wearing Rito armor. Enjoy the celestial, celestial bodies in the sky. Do you eat bomb flower? No. Shock fruit? Splash fruit prophecies shields shall guide you to places worthy of your time. Patricia is always offering guiding words of wisdom. Ice fruit. 
Consume. Patricia, consume. Thank you. If you seek the desert vo armor, you must rise from underground and find the secret. Consume. Eat the elemental fruit. Oh, what a good seal. Ah. Uh... Oh, you really like the fire uh, spicy pepper. Just very excited about that. Ooh. Sand boots for desert sand snow boots for serious snowfall. I spared you the painful seer pun. Delius. Okay, but where do I get said boots? Here's some bananas. Consume. All right. Huh? Can I just take these? I can take them. Amazing. I mean, do I dare go to the coordinates? Three. Eight, eight, eight. I mean, that's not very far from here, honestly. Three, eight. Eight, eight, eight. Ah, it's hot. Up, oh, still hot. Three, eight, eight, eight. Nope, it's increasing. Where the fuck did three, eight, eight go? Am I dumb? Gone too far. Two nine seven two. Did he really just take me back to her sand seal? Oh no, I have to go under. <gasps> I can take the toy with me! I did not know I could take the toy. Oh 
Oh my god, I love it. Is this all he was telling me to go to, or do I have to go, like, lower? Probably lower. It's fine. Maybe I need to be on the other side, but I did not know I could take the toy! Seems we've won, at least for now. But visualizing how the battle was going to go wasn't nearly enough. There are some factors you can't know without real physical training. First though, I need to get a good meal in my beddy. Wasn't there food at the underground canteen? Oh. Battle definitely taught me how important it is to learn about the many different weapons in the world. Really made good use of your bow, for example. As soon as I mastered the sword and shield, maybe I'll try that. Did they just get rid of the holes in the ground now? Uh, maybe I have to go lower. Oh, this is the 3-3-3 level. Three, three, three. I think I can bomb it? Ha! Huh. I haven't tried bombing this the whole time. Bye, Bo. I don't even know where the other ones are. Nothing new. Dude, I searched high and low for the other ones and I just didn't find them because I don't know, I'm dumb. Do you think there's one in the jail? I mean, oh my god, there's one in the jail. You're joking.
What? Purter's working at a place called Gerudo Secret Club? That's where the closing store is called with an unusual name. Well, I'm happy to hear she's doing well. She must be working so hard to support Auklet there at the shop. Uh, that's it. I can do my part by watching over Auklet while she's away. It just has to be from inside the cell. No. What? How'd you get in there? That's obviously a jail cell, not a place for visitors. Only prisoners are supposed to be in there like that Bo who tried to get into town, but you're the chief's guest, aren't you? Ooh. The fact that you got in there on purpose or by accident without me knowing would be embarrassing, Ooh. so get out of there before anyone sees you. Come on. It's not like anything else I can move or destroy, right? I, I can't believe there is one in the jail. Oh, a ball. I'm sure that'll be for a puzzle. After I do all the stalet things. The silly stalet things. Oh yeah, I got stuck on this the other time. I just didn't realize I had to blow something up. It's probably on this other branch. That I just fully haven't done much with. <gasps> Is this Auklet? Oh no, it's Madison. Hi. <laughs> You're the guy who gave me those Sunday lines. Sorry for that. The sun balloon Papa made me is really popular. Just like Mama and Papa said, they're still watching over me, even though we're far apart. I just remember that when I'm feeling sad. You want to see the secret map too, Vo person? It shows the store where mommy works. It do, baby girl. It do. But where's that last delay thing? I think I could, uh, cook in here. Oh my god, I can cook in here. Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's cook. So why isn't there a stalet in here? I can actually- oh no, this is not a climbable ladder, it's literally just a wall. And there's a ball in here too. Who's hiding these balls up in here, huh? They put the last one. It's like, I think I already took a picture of this. Like, this doesn't count, does it? No. Maybe there's a banner that looks like it can be burned? 
Or would they hide one in here? Wait, one of the balls I've placed here has stayed here. Wild. I hope they don't put one further out here, because otherwise... I won't know where to find it. Cool. Did not like that. They didn't hide like a stele in these back rooms, did they? People are lighting fireworks hardcore right now. Like, no reaction. Fit it out. I... I... I need this for that one quest. Go. Oh. Goodbye. Of all the weapons to go bad, it's the Lionel Reaper. Maybe I'll find a shield in here. <gasps> oh yeah, do not use it. Do not use it anymore. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Do not find the last delay. Delay! Del delay get her groove back? Nope. There's a bubble frog nearby. Nope, sorry about it. Actually, I can kill them. Bonk. Good job, weird bat. Bye, Moblin Arm. Does water affect them? Let me just shock them.
Where is the bubble frog? It's not saying that it's in this cave. It's saying that there's another... Another cave nearby, underground, perhaps, somewhere. I thought I was going to stop playing like two hours ago and then I got a second win. This game just does that to me all the time where I think I'm going to be done. No. Keep going. Gay boy. You'll never be done. Wow, he spit. Suffer the wrath of the bouncy sword. <laughs> Holy shit, bounced way over there? Are they scared? Why are they running so far away? Whatever. I don't have to deal with them anymore. They're just sleeping. Gerudo Sanctuary? I have to bring a ball here? From where? Good lord. Who's down here? Northern Ice House. Actually, let me go up first. I totally forgot this is a thing in Breath of the Wild, because I, I do sort of remember this. Oop, 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 game. Oh, this was unnecessary. Oh, Korok! It was necessary. We haven't done one of these all day today. Well, found one. Well, we did escort one. As is tradition. <laughs> oh yeah, you're a Hylian. A sock, this is the ice house. It's where we store ice, obviously. It's made from the snowmelt from the Gerudo Islands. Highlands. 
Kind of surprised to see here, it really isn't a tourist destination, but you're probably wondering where all the ice is, right? Well, it's gotten hot enough that it all melted. Feels wrong to even call the place an ice house right now. Mm. Have you heard about the incredibly popular drink the Noble Canteen in town makes? Well, it uses ice from here. Or it did. Can't get any ice delivered to town, there won't be any more signature drinks being made by anyone. Gotta find a way to make ice. Alright, I'll try. Oh, never mind. Here. No? Here, here's some ice. She's about to take out her weapon. That's ice, isn't it? I didn't know Hylians could make ice. Maybe I've been in the ice house or up on the mountain for too long. If it's okay with you, could I have this ice? Please put it over there. It don't fit. It's too big. I got a huge ego. Such a huge ego. Okay. How about that? Uh, what happened? Hey, wait, ice. Perfectly sized ice. This will hold up on the trip to town. Ah. Hopefully this is something you can make use of. Be sure to grab something to drink at the canteen in town. Oh. Feel free to come back and make more ice, okay? But I don't have anything I can give you as a reward right now. It wouldn't feel right to accept your help when I can't repay you, so give me some time, okay? You could always visit the spa in the mean. Well, wait. You're a bow, so you aren't allowed inside Garuda Town. Maybe you could relax at Katakata Bazaar instead? Okay, but where am I supposed to get a big-ass ball to put in that hole? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm not supposed to be here yet. Fuck out of here. Ow. Can't believe he spit on me. Um, I don't know if I'm tired or something, or if that was like a firework, but like, I felt a tremor, like as if it were an earthquake. It was very, very tiny, very minuscule, but it still rattled me nonetheless. Now why would they do that? Oh yeah, the ice house, I had to carry ice to the other side from here. Um, and like, make sure that it was intact. That's what they did in Breath of the Wild. I have no idea why I, I shivered like that, but it did throw me off quite severely, significantly.
Whoop. Who left all this oil out here? A whole ass ladder. I mean, I guess I could kill it. Might need some health though. I should have made more food when I had the chance, huh? I'll consume tomatoes. Yeah, it's not gonna do shit, bro. Eat the bomb fruit? Like, what does it do with me in particular? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to make it go after the, the bomb fruit if it's chasing after me like that. Uh, it's okay, it killed me. I, I guess I really wasn't trying to fight it. I was more just trying to understand what it was. Or how to like, activate it. Okay, uh... I don't think I need photos of all these men anymore. I think I'll save this one. Maybe this one too. The rest of them can go. Oh yeah, I was supposed to find the last delay and then somehow I wind it up all the way up here. Where could the last one be? Does that not count? This doesn't count. This doesn't count. Dan Seal is back. There is something at the entrance. I will scream. Okay, this Topaz Roz is making too much noise and needs to chill. Feral's kind of ass. Let's catch. Let's make it catch on fire. Okay, maybe not here, huh? There it is. And it's gone. Thanks for the apple.
I mean, it doesn't seem like they put it down here. Dude is lady, this lady's constantly sending down bottles. She's crazy. Oh my god, is it on the ground? No. Just where they sat. I'm still annoyed. Oh my god, look at it! It's a fucking camera puzzle! You're kidding. This, this game is on crack. <sighs> As for those balls, I need to put the balls on things. The eight of them connect the other seven powers, heart, skill, fortitude, wisdom, flight, mobility, and compassion. We have to return the seven heroine spirits to them to meet the eighth. And those spirits are all hidden within the Garuda region. That should sum it up, right? Mm. Seems to me that there are similar drawings on this delay too. I think this orb must be one of the spirits that houses the seven powers. You know, deep inside the eastern area of the shelter, there's a place with statues of the seven heroines. Those statues, I remember them looking as if they could hold on to something. Maybe we should try placing the orbs in their arms. But to do that, we have to recover the other six orbs wherever they are. The joys of archaeology. Keep the orb and do whatever you want with it. Oh, time to do my job, which is grabbing balls. And putting them in places where they shouldn't be. Like my mouth. Yeah, I don't know about some of these other balls. I'm probably going to have to find them around town, which would be annoying. I found four of the seven thus far. The kids are going to school. Oh, look, she's in here. Huh? Oh, did you come for a first-hand look? So you got great timing. I just discovered something here. What? You were already searching for the orbs? Look at you, who knew a Vogue could be so reliable? It's been hard, huh? Let me reward you. Ah. So you already tried placing an orb on the heroine statue, but according to you, nothing happened. The shape has me convinced they belong in the statue's arms. Guess we'll have to return all the orbs of the seven heroine ah. before we'll know. We'll be closer, on the verge of the mm. biggest discovery. Maybe it's time to go to Patricia for prophecy. Mm. Huh? You brought me another orb? You deserve something for the trouble. Mm. Will this do? Eh? Oh, you found me another orb? Eh? Oh, you found me another orb? Can't even tell what this looks like with all the crap around it. One, two, three, three more orbs. Ah. Mm. So 
So maybe she was telling me about where the ball was and not where her sand seal was? I don't know. I'm gonna give her some splash fruit. Because you're such a good sand seal. Tell me where they are so I don't have to look hard. Another sand seal. Wait. Oh, so good. Okay. Minus three, eight, one, three, two, eight, seven, three, zero, zero, four, three. I just give her another one and she'll tell me where the other ones are or will it be by happenstance? Because I don't want to have to keep going back and forth when I'm already here. Ooh. Oh, this is three, eight, one, three, two, seven, two, eight, seven, two. It's the same thing. Um. I don't know who that lady is. What are they doing there? Kind of sketchy. Shh, not so loud. If you're too loud, the guards might find us. Plus, it makes it hard to hear the voices coming from below. Something about a secret. All right, you crazy. Three, eight, one, three. I see it. Hey, that weird looking orb is very important to Dahlia. I know the chief said you're free to use anything in town, but you shouldn't touch that thing until you check with Dahlia first. Who the fuck is Dahlia? This Dahlia! I need the orb. Give orb! Who are you? Now then, you notice a vote watching you. I remember what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to. Nope, I'm drawing a blank. Even after all the vote in new classes, as soon as I am in a real world situation, all those lessons vanish. I knew I should have spent more time practicing. Who is Dahlia? Hey. Basak. Oh. Mm. Basak.
Where is this chick? I didn't want to go back, but I'm worried about traveling. I'm sorry, I was lost, so I didn't notice you. Originally, I came here to share my prize recipes. With that done, I'm going to head home, but I heard some scary rumors. I heard the Yiga clan has been spotted behind a waterfall along the road in Gruyere Canyon. they got to be no good up there. How can I head back with that weighing on my mind? Wow, you took a Blade Master exam. That's a really scary story, but I suppose that's not very common when someone is traveling normally. And as long as I'm careful, it sounds like I should be okay getting back. Thanks for telling me what happened. Salt, milk, salt. Tomato stew? It sounds terrible. But I guess I'm also fruity. Okay, stop. I just thought she was still near the east gate. That means she probably hasn't been able to find a map. I guess I have to find her a map. You look like you've done your fair share of exploring. Have you seen massive ruins facing each other? It's in the eastern part of the desert. Does that sound familiar if you know what I'm talking about? Oh, she wants me to take her there on a sand seal. Flashy Dahlia. Yeah, somehow it's bearable, the weather. Is this Dahlia chick? Oh, hi Dahlia. Oh, it's a special little, hey look at this. Isn't this orb great? After the sand found away, I came outside and found it lying right here. Mama says it's weird, but you agree it's cute, right? It's my very own treasure. No way, finders keepers take a special bow to see what a special orb this is. If you like it that much, I guess I could lend it to you on one condition. You gotta play with, I mean, challenge me. So are you ready for a game? That's what I like to hear, but we can't face off here. Let's go to the shelter. For an orb. Ponder the orb. Orb. Ah. Here we are. Everyone's gone back to the surface, so I get to use the shelter as my own playground. Here's the game. Gonna hide a stuffed sand seal somewhere. Yeah. If you find it before the time runs out, you win. Now close your eyes while I hide it. Should I hide it here? Actually, over here might be better. Oh, my feet got all wet. Oh well. You can open your eyes now. <laughs> Found the perfect hiding spot. Good luck figuring out where I put the doll. Are you ready to go? Oops, my feet got all wet. There's nowhere I hit it. Uh, so it's not down there. Not over there either. Bum, 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 bum. Wonder if he'll find it. Found it. 
Good job, you win. I'll see you back at the entrance to the shelter, okay? How'd you find it? I'll lend you the orb now just like I promised so you can play with it as much as you want. The game was so much fun, it reminds me of something Mr. Shy told me. If there's a vote I have fun hanging out with and he's a very special foe indeed. I knew right from the start you were a very special vote. I'm as, like this child is as tall as me. Play again together sometime. Give me your orb, child. Yeah, I think throwing it and rolling it is going to be more fun. It's a ball, Nolly. Fine. Oh. 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 Ho ho ho. Good ball physics. Huh? You brought me another orb. Here's a hydromelon. Okay. Patricia. Do your worst. Oops. Sorry, 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 sorry. I thought that was splash fruit. I was wrong. Come here to listen to Patricia's mysterious divination. I heard she gives them if you give splash fruit. But all she shares are numbers. Consume, Patricia. I have my pen and paper pad with me. Ready to write down the coordinates. Minus three, two, seven, four, minus. Two, five, eight, six, zero, zero, two, three. Four. Sounds like it's underground. Sounds like it's not nearby here. Sounds like it's out of town. I want to wear my fun costume with the abs and a proper sled. Realize I don't have a sled for the sand seal. That is a rock. Huh. I'm going to go back to town and get a sand seal because I'm going to need to put it on a sled.
because I'm not bringing a horse out here. Jesus, they put this one way out there. Oh, there's like a sand seal up here. That is so cute. Too cute. I wasn't expecting like a full on cliff. <laughs> Thanks for turning around, Dan Seal. Can't take the sand seal into town. Fine, maybe there's another. Maybe it'll stay. Is that the ball? Not these treasure hunters, are they? Oh. oh, sorry, that's not for sale. Truth be told, it's kind of a nuisance, so I'd love to give it to you, but its owner is currently missing. If you'd like it, how about making a deal with him when he comes back? Uh. Young man, please, have you seen a fellow with a scruffy beard around here? Uh -huh. uh. Sorry, that was rather abrupt. We're the caravan squad, a merchant group hoping to trade in Gerudo Town. Our friend Pontus has disappeared. When Katakata Bazaar was attacked by monsters, we all ran, taking refuge in the inn. I thought Pontus was with the whole, us the whole time, but we finally caught our breath. He was nowhere to be found. Aww. Between the stormy sands and the rush of people, everything was a chaotic blur. I could barely see a thing. Thought I caught a glimpse of Pontus running out the west entrance. Mm. We're lost in the desert. Our squad... The rule is to wait for rescue in a place that stands out like near a tall building. With all the sinkholes in the desert, it's easy to get tripped up. I'd rather not find out what would happen if I fell in one. Uh, cool. That means he's stuck. Glad I got wings. Good evenaba. I know that's not right. I just combined good evening with the Gerudo Savaba. Uh, sign I've been here too long, perhaps. Which reminds me I've heard all sorts of new greetings. Should I be using uh. those instead? Highly and stranded out here by the sand shroud, I take it. Well, the storm has settled now, and visibility is clear in any direction you may care to look. Be safe for you and your wingless kin to cross the desert again. As for me, I've grown fond of this oasis. I think I'll bring my family out here and make this place uh. our forever nest. My wife runs a general store in retail. 
Not one to brag, but she's the most beautiful lady you'll ever see. Our son runs a store of his own in some town or other, but I'm not entirely sure of all the details. The town itself was apparently established fairly recently in Northeast oh. Hyrule. As you can imagine, the two of them stay very busy, so maybe some time before we all live Aww. together again. At the end of the day, this is where I've chosen to nest. Good fork, old home. I mean, goodbye. I just mixed it up with the Gerudo words of work. So it's either over there or over there. But I'm guessing it's over there. There's a fire over here. Is he in the sinkhole? What's funny is that I've been in the sinkhole. Uh, let me check around just to see if there's a person on the other side of it. I do not see one. So, he's probably in here. There he is. I'm a genius. I messed up. What? A person? No. Uh, I never thought I'd run into another person down here. Fell down the sinkhole, did you? So did I, my guy. My name's Pontus, member of a caravan squad, where I was before the monsters attacked the oasis and I ended up ditched my friends and ran. So I wound up here. Looked all over the place, but I still can't find an exit. You and me might be down here for a long, long time. Hey, friend? Friend? Bust it open. You made your own path? You're amazing, my dude. Oh, sorry for shouting. Thank you so much. Better hurry back. I'm sure my friends are worried. Uh, I'll give you a proper reward when you drop by. Kara kara. Teleportation without a sand seal? Maybe they'll deliver it for me. I spent 50 rupees. Fine. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm so glad you're safe. Ah. That young man saved your life. We all go home for that. Though no matter how many times I hear, I can't believe anyone survived falling into a sinkhole. As the leader of the caravan squad, allow me to thank you for bringing Pontos back to us. Ooh. And as a reward, ponder the orb. <laughs> Whatever it is, you know it's cool. It has a weird pattern on it. I'm a merchant and I have an eye for things like this. Oh. I know someone in Gerudo Town's on the lookout for stuff like this, so I was going to see if they could appraise it, but I'll let you have it. It's the rarest thing I've got, and it's all yours. Take good care of it for me. Thanks, my dude. Oh, you know who doesn't have a fan? It's me. Hi. I need a fan. Fan me quick. I need my gloss. Remember how I said it was almost 10, and now it's almost 
midnight for me. And I'm still toiling away. All this for a fan. I'm a big fan. Fan wing portable pot. Fan wing portable pot. Pot. My ball, it's not on it anymore. My ball. Bro, that means we need a second fan. I didn't know there were palm fruit in the palm trees. It's not, it's rock. Good. Good. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go around all of this. <laughs> like, imagine if I actually hit them.
Come through. Yes. Actually, I want to toss it like this. Huh? Guess I can be closer to toss it. I have one more to go after this one. A lot for an orb. Find out where the last one is. We got some fruit for you, baby. What does it mean? Consume. Secret to numbers. Minus three, eight hundred. Minus two, nine, six, nine, zero, zero, five, eight. Um, it's probably up above. Out here. Hello, birds. No, Guster? I am appalled. I am a god. I'm a ball god. <laughs> Nothing amuses me more to see ball physics just like slide in this game. Toss it. For the big reveal, it's going to reveal a bigger ball. Huh? Oh, you brought me another orb. Let's see. I have seven of them and there are seven statues. So if we return the orbs to the statues, something should happen. While you're here, could you use your hand thing? To, oops. Place the orb in the arm. Hang on a minute. That was the last orb, wasn't it? This is so exciting. We return the spirits to all seven heroines, so any moment now, something should happen. Does the ground feel like to you like a chicken? Oh my god, the floor is moving. Quick! Here. A hidden room? Let's go inside? Question mark? I'm sorry, in all the excitement I almost forgot my manners. We wouldn't have found this hidden room without you, so you should go in first. I'm eager to investigate such a huge discovery right away, of course, but you are the one who found it. So it's fine if you want to go in first. I'll be right in right after you. 
big ball. I guess I should read it. Our hearts are full of gratitude and praise for the one who saw us in all that we could be. We have enshrined an appropriate gift in the sanctuary at the North Gerudo Ruins. The outside orb near the 8th statue shall be the key that opens the way. Should be fine to come inside now, right? I want to get better. Look at that stone, Stella. Hmm, I see. The North Gerudo Ruins Sanctuary it says the giant orb is the key. There are some large ruins just north of here. Beneath them is a place called Gerudo Sanctuary. I've been there in my research. I once found an entrance leading below ground on the north side, but at the time I couldn't figure out how to get inside now, though. I think this large orb might be the key that opens the way. And, if I'm right, the truth about the mysterious eighth which no one has ever learned before will finally come to light. Mm. Except, I have to carry that thing. And I got into archaeology to look at things, not carry ah. them. We didn't trust the test to you! Uh, you only have to carry it a little ways up to the North Gerudo Gulen, Gr North Gerudo Ruins, but it should be no problem for you. Do this for me and I'll consider you a full research partner. The truth about our mystery eighth will be something you and I can uncover together. Big orb. Will it fit out that door? Oh, I could go through here the whole way? No. Huh. They put those things there because I it doesn't want me to go down that way. Ba da da da. Ba da da da. Ba da da da. Ba da 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 da. Ha! Ha! Ball, return to me. <sighs> Christ. He changes his hairstyle and he wins. Oh god. Um The game does not like big ball. game really does not like Big Ball. It's so heavy. Mr. Sanseal is ready to murder someone. Hey.
whole ass treasure. Really? It's fake? Piece of shit. Thank you, Slay. Oh, we are so slaying today! <laughs> yes, it's I, the one who brings the big ball to you. to you every ball. Okay. Goodbye. Better be a nice piece of equipment down here. Watch, it's a sh an entire puzzle. Can it be grabbed? Oh my god. So, it's, it's a shield. <laughs> Oh, hi, friend. Oh, I got it in the face. Oh, okay, we're going down. I'm yelling timber. This is a very cool place, I will say. Hi. I don't know you. Bonk. Felt like I made like a graham cracker sandwich. Nope. Goodbye. Is that like a waste? Never know. It's a very bright colored, like, grass thing. How much of this is gonna fall? Goodbye, lizard! Nice fish. There's so many ways to do things in this game. 
I could ascend, or I could just do this. Statue of the eighth heroine, room, Gerudo Desert. Do I have to match up the weapons on them? Long ago, a monstrosity, monstrosity of the sands attacked Gerudo Town. Its war cry rang out over the dunes like a raging demon. We seven heroines of the Gerudo, the most stalwart chosen by, surged forth to engage it. Yet this monstrosity tossed us about like tumbling weeds. We feared that the proud Gerudo would be extinguished. And then, a hero appeared from afar. He marshaled the seven heroines, counseling us to combine our strengths. The strength upon strength of we seven routed the monstrosity. We named our benefactor the, Gali the Guiding Light of Gerudo. Yet though we had not but highest praise for him, he was refused entry into Gerudo Town. Was Garuda allow that all those like him were barred? How hollow our gratitude and praise must have rung Hero's ears. Thus, the link between his people and the Garuda severed. Though we never bequeathed it to him, the gifts into which our feelings are bound is enshrined at this sanctuary. Remember that thing I grabbed? It got moved back. Three hundred rupees. What about the shield? Need it to make the day break. Goodbye, mighty Zoanite shield. Like, someone was nice enough to leave all this stuff here, and I am rude enough to steal it all. I thought there was going to be a sinkhole here. Like it's... Sounds like one? But how do I get to it? God damn it. We have to go back down and figure out a way into that room so I can get the bubble boy. I don't know why they reset this entire room. They didn't have to. Whee. This goes really out and around and about and then back. Whoa. 
What I don't understand is... How do I get over here? There's no like hole, is there? Okay. Let me try that. Uh, at least I'm facing the correct direction this time. understand. Is there like another entrance I don't know about? Like I get it, it's down below. But how do I go down there? Gerudo? I mean... dead. Light this thing on fire, will ya? Oh, Link, you're cold now? I know, I really don't get it. Unless there's like another cave entrance that I just don't know about. That the game is just not sharing with me. Like it's not, not like there's a hole in the ground. It's it's fruit. <laughs> Nothing I can move down there. Whatever. I'm going back to the Gerudo Town. Cannot be bothered at this time.
Link, it's not that hard, Link. Link, I cannot do it. Link, Link. Oh? Huh, what happened to the big orb? Hmm? What, you found your way into the sanctuary, so that giant orb was the key after all? Well, did you learn anything about our mystery eighth? Hmm? What? The eighth was a vow? Is that true? Tavoten. If you asked me what I thought the truth would turn out to be, I'd never guessed this. To say that what we learned here will append what we know of Gerudo history is an understatement. Ah. I have to write these findings as soon as I can. Don't worry, I'll mention your contributions as well. Um, mm -hmm. hang on. What name should I credit you as? You st How do these people not know who Link is? That's a funny coincidence. It must be nice having the same name as Princess Zelda's favorite swordsman. I write this report up nice and thorough. I know you're excited to read it. Oh, before I forget, this is your reward. Maybe he has a twin. <laughs> Next time you see me, I'll be the star of the Archaeological Society. Well then, of work. I want the special pride of the Gerudo weapon right now. I'm here. I came, that's right. Basak. I'm always shocked when I speak to others about you. It's a real surprise how incredible you are. Dark Zone for not only helping Gerudo Town, but for me. <laughs> Let's get to crafting. Four diamonds, ten pieces of flint, a scimitar, and a shield. <laughs> I need to do it. This is everything I need to get to work. Just give me a minute. I poured all of my heart into making these. Take them. It's a true symbol of the gratitude of the Gerudo. A famous sword once beloved by the champion Urbosa. It said that when Urbosa swung the sword in battle, her movements resembled a beautiful dance. <laughs> I wish you good fortune in your travels. The shield was cherished by Gerudo champion Urbosa. The gold used to make it. It was handpicked to ensure a design that is both lightweight and durable. Ah. Or the second person I made those for. Lady Riju was the first. My ancestor even made them for the champion of the Gerudo some time ago. That really just goes to show how amazing they are. It'll make me happy if you take good care of them. Mm -hmm. I did make them to be used, so don't feel like you need to preserve them. Should they ever be irretrievably lost, just bring me the materials again, and I'll remake them for you. And also... You can come see me whenever you like, even if you don't need anything. <laughs> May the blessings of the Gerudo be upon you. And also, with you. That does it for me today. I am done streaming. I'm done playing this game. It's nearly eight hours of this, or uh, six hours of this game. And I need to get a move on with my life. Time to be a big girl now. And I'm gonna go drink some water. I hope you guys have a great evening. I got to take care of myself, maybe sleep, would probably be good. Peace out.